Welcome everyone to my very first top 10 video and today I have a special one for you guys, my top 10 games of all time. The only rule I want to put on this list is no games from the same series or franchise. So like no Dark Souls 1 and 3 or anything like that, so with that all said, let's get started. So. Number 10 is Saints Row 2, and this is kind of the most number 10 thing on this list. I have always loved this game and always preferred it to the Grand Theft Auto franchise. To be fair, I have really only played uh, GTA 5 and really only the online mode at that, which it, that mode is just super limiting and compared to Saints Row 2, it kind of makes you see my choice. Besides that, I really like the characters and story in this one. Sure, it's a little serious, but it can also get goofy, especially with unlockable weapons and stuff. The Pimp Hand and Kane are still the best to unlock. Oh, and the character creation is really good and lets you wear and really do whatever you want, male or female, which makes this game even funnier if you ask me. It just really comes down to... I don't know, just the freedom of this game, like, when I kind of want to just go do whatever I want to, this game is one of my first choices. Moving down the list to number 9, and this is Xenoverse 2, well, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and, well, this game, to be honest, is way more of my mindless fun kind of game, like, when I've had a really long day, I can just kind of shut everything off and play this one instead. But, I do really like this game and I always have a good time while playing it. But, it's never my first choice. But still, I do love it. And, I mean, at the same time, I don't have a super lot to say about it. But, this game plot is literally a fan fiction, and that's awesome and surprisingly makes it even better. The big thing with this game is I'm a huge fan of the Dragon Ball franchise. I mean I've seen everything besides most of GT and being able to create my own Saiyan or Human or Namekian or whatever really just makes it fun and you know seeing these characters is just it's a lot of fun especially when you bring friends into the mix. and. The biggest downside to this game is you have kind of use the same moves and it's harder to create a super unique character, but again, this game is kind of just a fan fiction and that makes it better. Number 8 is kind of weird because I choose all of the Smash Bros games. Yes, I know each of them is unique and special, but I kind of wrap them all together in my head. Like if someone asks me if I want to smash, I always say yes, and when they pull out a condom, I get confused. Okay, besides that stupid joke everyone else has said, I really just love playing these games in general. If I did have to pick one of them, I would say my favorite is Ultimate, but I always just have a good time with my friends whenever these games are played with them. Besides that, it's just kind of the best party game. Whenever all my friends are together, we almost always play this game. And for that reason alone, you know, it makes a list. The big reason I picked Ultimate above the rest though is it's truly the first one I super owned. I never owned a Wii U or anything, and even when I did own a Wii, I never had Smash Bros. I've always played these games, just always at friends' houses. But when I got my Switch, I pre-ordered Ultimate, and I've been playing it ever since. I actually 100%ed it for like a week, and then they added more content, and I haven't been able to since. That's the main reason I played that one. But, I have to pick Smash Bros. Ultimate. Number 7 is Mega Man 2, which is kind of surprising that it's this high or low on the list, depend depending on your standpoint. Before I get too sidetracked though, I really love this game, no matter how much I hate it. The big thing is, if you haven't seen my playthrough, you can go watch that, but I kind of realized while recording, this game isn't the best made and there's some things that piss me off, but whenever I think of it, I just enjoy it so much. And 
the big thing is, I love Mega Man. I love almost all of the games. I always have a fun playing it, and I just love the character. And this is my favorite one. Maybe it's because it's the first one I really ever played and beat. That's probably the reason. But I just always think of Mega Man 2 when someone says Mega Man. So, that's my number 7. So, down the list to number 6, we see arms. And yes, I'm not pulling your leg. Okay, but seriously, I love this game. Funny story, I actually didn't think this game would be what the word good when I first saw it. I really thought Nintendo messed up, I am so glad that they didn't. But for the first time I played this game, I knew it was something special. A day later, I bought it for myself, and well, the rest is history. But the reasons I love this game is really because of the gameplay in it. It is just so fun, it feels like every round you get a little better. You have to adapt and change your strategy depending on the opponent you're facing. I mentioned it before, but the characters are so amazing too. Mimin's still my favorite, but I can't stand to think of like the rest of the characters and not put a smile on my face. Also, the music and everything else in the design. God, this game is just amazing, and I am so glad I gave it a try. And that's my number six. Five. So what if I asked if you hated yourself? Would you say yes? And if you did, then I have a game for you. Bloodborne. Wow, is this game something else? Like its sister games, this one is fucking difficult and doesn't give you a second of breathing time. So it's all about becoming better than you are and beating the nightmare that is ahead of you. If you can't tell, I am a man of style and I love to see this in games so when a game like this oozes it, I just can't help myself. I also love how this is kind of more fashion souls based, where you can kind of pick your outfit and you know, while some have better stats and stuff, you can really wear whatever you want. And I mean, every weapon is really fun to at least mess around with. While there are some downsides to this game, it's definitely my favorite Soulsborne game out there. And I mean, it was number four for a long time but I also fucking love the combat. It's the perfect mixture of challenge, skill, and failness. Every time I died, most times I died, a couple times I died, it was truly my fault. And I f every time I died, I felt like I could do better. Okay, talking about style, Persona 5 had me thinking where it ranked on my top 10. And then two weeks after I beat it, I played Persona 5 Royal, and it strongly worked its way up all the way to 4th place. This game just grabbed me and took me on an emotional ride that I didn't even think I could go on again after beating Persona 5 Vanilla. Every time I think of this game, it just gets me to smile, and besides that, once again, all the characters are amazing, and this just makes me want to play it again. But seriously, like, it's one of the few long games where after I beat it, I wanted to play again. I'm way, usually way more of a short kind of game kind of person, like, oh, you know, it takes me a day or two to beat a game and then I move on, just so I can consume as much as I can. But with Persona 5, it made me think, it made me sad, it made me happy, and it made me want to do the journey again. And luckily, Royal came out right around when I beat it, so I did it. Royal does fix a couple of the issues I had with the main game, and it's still just my number four game. Top three times, starting off strong with one of my favorite childhood games, Castle Crashers. Now this game has always had a special place in my heart, and if I had a group of friends, I can literally play this game again and again with no problem. The single player is a bit lacking, but still is so much fun. I also love the mini games and collecting everything, and just ugh, everything about this game makes me sound. It's so solidly in my number 3 place. Funny story, once upon a time, this was my number one game 
for a long time. I just loved playing it and had so many good memories with it. I would usually pick the blue knight, but every now and then I would switch it up. Besides this, it's just so much fun and I love the music and the humor in it. It's so differently. It just, whenever I play it, it gets a smile on my face and it's one of the few games I can really just keep playing over and over again. So, let's move on. For anyone who knows me, the only surprise about this game is that it isn't my number one. I love Spider-Man with all of my heart. He is by far my favorite character in fiction. To be honest, I have always just had a special connection between him. When this game came out, I was so excited I 100%ed it on the first weekend I had it. And then I did the same thing when the DLCs released. And not just the first day, I stayed up and 100%ed them before they were pretty much out. Getting back to a little chiller, this game is just so amazing. I love the costumes, I love the jokes, I love the references, the voice acting is amazing, the story is so good. The ending literally made me cry. That doesn't happen. I just... For a huge Spider-Man fan, for this to be the big success it was, it makes me so happy. While the combat isn't anything new, it is still so fun, and I think it honestly works with Spider-Man better than it does with other characters, like Batman or Ezio or anything else. So I don't really have a whole whole lot to talk about this game right now, and before I get sidetracked on how amazing I think it is more, I'm going to, you know, go past. Oh, the last thing is I do wish it was a little longer, but to be fair, on further playthroughs I did find it that I kind of just, you know, steamrolled it. But anyways, besides that, I think this game is absolutely spectacular. And if you have a PlayStation and don't own this game, go buy it. Okay, so my number one game of all time it has to be Breath of the Wild. This game is just so special to me. So how I got it is I finally saved up enough money to buy a Switch and I could only buy one game with it. And without a second thought, I picked up Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I regret nothing. I still remember the first time I played the opening. It was like I was transported into this world and I loved every second of it. While I did play a handful of Zelda games before this, I never super got into the series until this game. It went from a franchise I cared about to my favorite game franchise. I can sit here all day and tell you stories of how I felt my first Guardian or Lionel, but that's the magic of this game. It's all about experiencing that for yourself. This game also helped me through a pretty rough time. I wasn't too sure about myself and I stopped doing what I cared about. And then this game helped me through all of that. It showed me how much I love video games and how they can be amazing and I still have no regrets ever picking this game up. I have played this game to death and I'm still going to play it. It's just one of those experiences that every time I look at it, every time I play it, it just makes me happy. I love the visuals of it, and even though they're not the best graphics, the style they have are just stupendous. I seriously can keep going on and on and on and on, Pie is the Best Girl and on and on, but moving on. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is my favorite game of all time, and that's okay. And no matter what anyone says, I will never stop loving this game. Even when they point out the flaws, even when they say, you know, it's not good. I just look at it and it will always have the special place in my heart. So with no doubt in my mind, Breath of the Wild is my number one game. Wow, that was a pretty long list and I hope you all enjoyed it. I have been wanting to make this for a while and then a friend put the idea back in my head. So, you know, shout out to that. Um, the one big thing is... Thank you for coming on this journey for me. I really appreciate all the views and everything else I've gotten so far and all the love and support and everything not just from friends and family but for all of you who don't really know me. 
I hope this kind of gives you another insight into my life, and I would love to see at least your top three games, or even favorite game, down in the comments if you would do that. That'd be awesome. Um, Nintendo, please make Breath of the Wild 2 happen soon. Please. As always, guys, though, I've been Hero D. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.